Good evening. Thank you for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z. This is Ziri Bibi. And I'm just going to do a quick message. Well, I don't know if it's quick, but I'm going to do a message from Spirit. Well, actually, the Spirit team. Um, you know, we have a team of people, angels and guides and everybody, you know, that guide us while we're going through our life. But especially during these um, this retrograde. This energy has been a little extra. So I decided to pull out the cards and see what they have to say. They're saying, have an attitude of gratitude. Be grateful. Grateful for the experience. If you're doing the work, that means you're getting some insights. I know I am. I'm getting insights to things I never thought about before. Death is an illusion. You're transforming. You know, things that when you think things are done, you have to end cycles in order to begin a new one. Anything else before I move on? Forgive yourself. It's a lot going on right now. You know, if you're purging and doing the work, it's a lot of things coming up that you might not have even been aware of that you were dealing with or had gone through or had done or whatever. And spirit of sin, forgive yourself. You didn't know. You know. Not your fault. Lesson learned. Pick yourself off and start over again. Yeah, because worry is a wasted emotion. Don't even waste it. Don't even worry about it. You had the experience for a reason. You needed to have it. You needed to have that tower moment. You needed to have that karmic situation. You needed to have whatever it was to help you grow as an individual. Anything else before I move on? Nope. All right. So... Know that regardless of what you went through, you are special. There's nobody out there in the world like you. There's only one you. Hold your head up. Think about it, too. Hold your head up. She got her head down. She's thinking, but think about it. You know, the death is an illusion. You know, be grateful for the things you're going through. Love yourself. This is most important. Love yourself. Because a lot of times you go through the things you go through because you've forgotten how to love yourself. You've detached. You've detached. If you really think about it, you've detached because of whatever you went through. You've detached. So you need to love yourself. Self-care. And while you're loving yourself, you'll be able to forgive yourself. And not only that, believe in yourself. You got this. Whatever it is, whatever you're trying to do, know that you can do it. You got a team standing behind you or beside you. Above and below, all around. They're encircling you. Anything else y'all want to say? Trust. Trust it. You're special. You need to know that. Trust it. You are understood. You know, a lot of a lot of us don't think that we're understood, especially in you know. If you're realizing you're in the twin flame experiment, the free will experiment, there's not many people you can talk to, but there are. There's Discord and um, eSpot, um, and there are others. I, I have to figure out how I can put that information on my channel so that you all can come. 
You are and it's a lot of people. A lot of people that you can talk to. You don't know, you know, sometimes you know you might not people don't always have the money to pay for those things. So the group like Discord, you know, you can go and freely talk if you need to really get in depth, then that's a little thing. But you know, that's where you can chat with other twin flames, divine masculines and divine feminines. You know, and whatever it is, was whatever situation that's going on during this um, retrograde, just think about it. Look through the situation. Look through it. You know, don't look at it. Don't look at it. You want to look through it. Because if you can look through it, you can get through it. And you need to be more physical. You need to move because a lot of people are stagnant. You know, today I kind of laid around the bed today. But normally I'm pretty, I move around a lot. But a lot of people, you know, they they burrow in. Even though the weather is changing, you still can go for a brisk walk out in nature. Nature will help you in so many ways. It'll help clear you. It'll help ground you. You know, they're trying to tell you to get out and move. Even if you're not out in, you know, at the park or in the woods or anything, ride your bike. Go bowling, go skating, go dancing, go do something. Anything else that you want me to say? Oh, there's Andrew Metatron. He is here to help you. Ask him for help. All the newbies, if you're new to my channel, go look him up. I'm not going give to you, give you all the information on who he is. You need, you know, a lot of us are so used to being spoon-fed information. You need to look up Angel Metatron, Arch Arch Angel Metatron. Let's do it that way. He's our friend. Yep. Time to create. Change up some things. You're very creative. You probably just forgot it. You got so busy being a an adult dealing with drama. And, you know, once you get into that creating mode you'll be able to relax you'll be able to release and relax also you'll be able to self reflect look in the mirror you know man in the mirror Michael Jackson you know you it, it'll help you once you get totally relaxed at that point you can really look at the situation at, at for what it was and move through it and keep it moving. What else do they want to say to you? These cards are beautiful. I love these transformation cards. Today, today I use hope. Yeah, actually every day you should use hope. And that's the back of that one. It's blue and green and white. And this is the back of this one. I am doing so well on my journey. I am proud of myself. You should be. That's what they're saying. They notice, you know, you're doing, for the ones of you that are doing the work, they're proud of you. Here's the back of this card. Aren't they gorgeous? I have confidence in myself. I am ready for everything that life offers me. Yes. If you're doing the work. You have to do the work. You know, a lot of people think this... This retrograde, retrograde is just a joke. No, you're supposed to go within and clear out some more stuff. You know, each time it comes, you're going to clear. This is not like a one-time thing. Look at that card. That's the back of that one. I've never seen that one. Even when things aren't perfect or don't seem to be working out, I choose to trust life. That's what you should do. You should choose to trust life. And go through the cycle. Let's see what the mudras have to say. I like these cards. I still haven't tried any of the positions. 
these angels. I won't call them angels, but I'll have to ask my friends. Okay, this one says, I know that my life is unfolding beautifully for and for my highest good. This is very true. Very true. Especially if you're doing the work. You're looking within and clearing out your um, issues from childhood and things. I see my power for good. I use my power for good. Oh my God, do I need to get my glasses. I love myself and trust in my higher power. I am fearless and strong. Yes. You need to listen to them. I love my life, which is filled with infinite possibilities. Yes, life is filled with infinite possibilities. But that's if you are doing the work, looking within, clearing out the debris in your life that doesn't mean any good, moving, having, being grateful, not reverting to negative energy. Not at all. I'm going to close out with this. Please. The crystal. And I'm going to read about it. This is um, Amethyst 17. If you are doing the work, your healing work, the, these readings are just help, assistance. They are not the end-all, be-all. This will not help you get with your true flame, your twin flame, saying true flame. Same thing to me. It will not help you do that. The inner work is what will help you. These are just guides or pointers or um, motivational tools to help you while you're doing the work. Okay, so this amethyst. You will have inner peace. This is the stone of inner peace. And that's what you want, right? Then you need to have an attitude of gratitude and understand all this other stuff that we just talked about. I'm hoping that you all liked this reading. This is going to be one of the styles of readings that I'll be offering soon. So stay tuned. Thank you for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z. And I'll speak to you soon. Peace.